Hello, my name is Mike, and we're at Highland Hill Farm today, and I want to talk to you about how the water plants are in pots. And right here, right in front of me, is a good example of a plant grown in a pot, and we can see that it has a black plastic pot on it. And this black plastic pot, you can also see that by my shadow, that there is sun hitting this black plastic pot. And since the sun is hitting this black plastic pot, it warms up much faster than if it was in a red or in a white pot. So we, we do have a pot like this, we have to make sure that we water it very well. For if the sun heats up the soil inside it too much, the plant will dry up faster and the roots will die if the soil is dry. So we gotta make sure that wherever side, wherever pot that we have, if it's facing the sun, doesn't matter if it is black or not, but if it, the sun is hitting it, we have to make sure that that side of the pot is always well moist. Another thing that we can also do when we're watering plants in pots is to make sure that we water them frequently. If we water them once a week with a real good dosing, it's not good as if you're going to water them three to four times a week and just making sure it's moist. Or if we let the pot dry out, the plant will die. With this media in it, with most media in pots, it's very porous. And with that porous means that the air can go in and out of the soil. And when it goes in, and when it comes back out, it can take water out of it as well. So with this porous media, media, we have to make sure that the plant remains moist in the pot. Um, is there anything else you can think of? These are more deer resistant plants here at Highland Hill Farm. This is a dwarf Alberta spruce. It is deer resistant. This is an arrowwood type viburnum. That is also deer resistant. And of course the spruces like the blue spruce, Norway spruces, and all the types of spruces that have a hard, you know, hard needle are deer resistant as well. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your deer resistant. We grow a lot of boxwoods here at Highland Hill Farm. These are our 18 inch Green Mountain Boxwoods. And these are our 24 to 28 inch Green Mountain Boxwoods. We grow a lot of other deer resistant trees and shrubs as well. And those are our 5 to 6 foot Green Giants. If you need any high quality deer resistant nursery stock, give us a call. We can deliver or deliver and plant or you can stop and pick up we're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are Hetz Kalimner junipers. They're a deer resistant juniper that grows to about 15 foot high by 5 foot wide. If giant windmills are going to be put on your property, this is a tree that can help you block them out. It's called the Green Giant Arborvitae. We sell thousands of these trees for all kinds of screening purposes. They grow up to three feet a year. As you can see, we have larger ones over in the far areas. And we do deliver and plant these all over the East Coast. Another tree that will also work is the Leland Cypress. Not quite as hardy, but just as fast growing as the Green Giant. These two types of trees, the cypress and the giant, can grow up to three feet a year very rapidly. When we plant them for you, we put in a drip water system to help you water them to get them going. But the, again, these are a fast growing tree and they will block windmills. Not, they won't grow 500 feet high, but they'll grow about 80 to 90 feet at times. And if you have good soils. And that's enough to give you a good block you know, on your property from distant windmills that are going to bother you with wind flicker and uh, noise and unsightliness of these giant turbines. So these are the trees that you want, the green giant arborvitae. We have them from small to large size and we do deliver and plant on the East Coast. We specialize in screening and buffering trees. So give us a call at 215-651-8329.